Let's go! Was Washington robbed of a national championship versus Michigan? And many are clamoring that there was a holding on the left side of this offensive line. So let's start with the first thing about this play is Edwards actually gets a little lucky, right? He runs into his own lineman here and he doesn't actually see a wide open gaping hole to run through. I think people felt 73 right here had a little bit of a tug on the second level player. And let me see here. Everything looks clean right here. And is that holding? Holding is something I'd rather not be called than called, if that makes sense. It needs to be blatant, especially if it's preventing a touchdown. That's that's not holding. Obviously, this is just a simple Blake Corum run to the right side. You let me know if this is inside zone or duo. You get a really good double team right here uh, to get this DT off balance. Um, but 60 is, is, is the guy that people feel made the second level holding call. This still looks fine to me. Um, let's see. That's just a really good double right here by 53 to get to the next level. And everything looks clean right here. Brace your arm across the body of someone and just kind of catapult him. Um, that's just not a hold for me. I, I'm sorry. Uh, did 10 whip around? Sure. But part of that was on him. So far, Washington, you know, the two big plays right there, it didn't look like there was really any missed holding calls. So feel free, of course, to correct me if I'm wrong. But before we get to the next play, it's important to point out that Washington had their opportunities, right? And if you have a Bolitnikov finalist receiver and a Heisman finalist quarterback and you get a blown coverage to your absolute best player, whether it's a corner route or if this was a situation where the, um, the ball should have been put right here, then this is on Penix, right? You've just got to be able to complete this if you're going to win a national championship counter zone read if you will so you're pulling the guard here and you're pulling the tackle tight ends coming across and it's a zone read and you're reading this defensive end this end crashes down so this is a pull read by orgy pause uh the backup quarterback here and what some want to question is is a potential misholding right here by 60. Now, this is a very difficult block for 60, right? Because the whole left side of the line is pulling to the right, and you really have got to hold this edge, okay? Especially if you're pulling it, and it is a misholding right here. Now, is this defensive tackle ever actually making this tackle on this QB? No, he's not, right? Because the edge was so wide open, and Loveland did a good job blocking out wide but this isn't a matter of if he would actually make the play or not this is more a matter of the refs just missing this okay now i understand that when you are refing you let the offensive lineman engage inside the chest plate so it's legal to grab a little right here you just can't do it this egregiously okay it's a very difficult block for 60 who is actually a backup center but that has got to be whistled it just does um 91's never fast enough to get out here to make this play but it's still a penalty and that is a long long hook um, if you ask me. So it, it's got to be whistled. Now, I won't spend too much time on this one because Washington ended up scoring a touchdown on this drive anyway. This is not pass interference or holding or illegal hands or whatever. I believe as a referee, if you stumble on your own and it lends itself to a little hand fighting, um, I'm going to let that go right? Because once you stumble on your own, you're likely not going to make the play at all. And I understand that, yes, even if he stumbles on his own and he still holds him, you still should call it. And look, many are saying right here, 
after he regained his balance, there was a little bit of tugging right here, okay? But it's just not enough for me. It's hardly any tugging at all. And you get another replay, right? You're going up against one of their not top corners, okay? And it's pretty clear that you trip on yourself. And yeah, is there some grabbing going on? Yeah, but that that that's a given on every play, especially when you're pressed up on them. I think that's a good no call. I really do think so. All right, this is a questionable one that went against Michigan, okay? So just to let you know that the refs just didn't conspire for Michigan to win this game, this isn't much, okay? So for those who don't know, this tight end broke a few tackles and got to this point. Is this extensive? Did you extend when he was clearly in the white? Sure, right? And you kind of did stare him down, so I guess that is a flag. But if the refs really wanted Michigan to win, they could also argue that you should let this one go. But sure, this is extensive, I guess you could say, but it's also kind of ticky-tack in a national championship setting. All right, so we get to here. Protection this time is really good in a day where, um, and let me see, I guess it's okay. Obviously, their guards really had struggles sitting on the bull rushes from the linemen, but that's still a clean enough pocket, and this throw is actually right on the money, if you ask me. He's got to catch that, and you'll see in the other replay that Adunzi should have still uh, caught it. Now, is this pass interference? Now, if you can, please drop a super thanks. Like and subscribe to the channel. We always do referee breakdowns for the big games. So we get to hear, um, you know, not quite off off coverage, but he is off of them. So this is very difficult. You got an elite NFL wide receiver running right at you, and you're on your heels. Okay, so there's going to be some contact. And let's see if there is, yeah, I mean, that's at least holding. I know that they let hand fighting go in these things, but man, I I don't know if it was the type of jersey, because there was a lot of tugs in this game that just weren't called, and that did knock him off balance just enough to where he couldn't make this catch. This ball is right on the money. You would like to see a Dunsey still catch that, but and just to give you a little insight on how accurate of a throw this actually was, look, I mean, he was off balance after the hold. If he's not held right there, he is catching that in stride for a huge, huge gain. Michigan did a good job of selling that this was a push off, right? You'll see a lot of the assistants um, say push off right there by. Uh, the receiver, okay, push, 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 okay. Um, so maybe that influences the call, but it, that should have been defensive holding at the very least. We now get to the two biggest calls of the game. Once again, if you love independent content, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, unless you truly believe Michael Penix deserved the Heisman over Jaden Daniels, then that means you don't know ball. Um, if that's the case, don't subscribe. Huh? 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 But Washington fans, I, I'm kidding. It, it was a, it was a fun debate. Let's um, let's have a debate about this holding call. Huge, huge call in this game. Let's see if he does trip on his own feet, and if that's the reason why he fell. Let's see. No, no, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, you could see him yanking him down, okay, um, is he out of control some, the Michigan defender, sure, right, but I do think you can call it, also the nature of it and how visible it was, uh, a fast twitchy edge player cutting to the inside of a tackle who just whiffs him and he dramatically falls to the ground. Now, was his momentum, did his momentum hurt him here? Sure, right? Because he's 
going at such a high speed. Um, I mean, I, it didn't look like he ever actually fully yanked him down, but there was some t minor tug. Let's give it one final look here. Okay. It also just kind of looks like he, the Michigan player, just lost his own momentum. I don't know. That's a tricky, tricky, tricky one. The penalty disparity was even, right? Four for 25, five for 45. All right, so Michigan's up by seven. They get an explosive pass play to the tight end, and they get away with this, okay? Um, I mean, there's just... There's no excuse for missing that one, okay? I understand in theory the the hand is inside the chest plate. But what I would say about that is I'm fine with the left hand being on the left side of the chest plate and the right hand being on the right side of the chest plate and letting some tug go. But this is the left hand to the right side. Of, or to the player's left side. It's across his body. So this is a clear hold. Um, there is no excuse for missing this one. Okay? And it did affect the throw. Doesn't hold him. At the very least, McCarthy doesn't see him. Okay? So it's not, the, it's not necessarily that this holding penalty would have negated this throw it's this holding penalty prevented a huge negative play McCarthy doesn't see him if he's not being held this end is hitting him in the process of him throwing it so this is a massive negative play right look at how close his hand was to preventing McCarthy from even following through and you know, from the from a defensive standpoint is you would still like this edge player to get enough hand on him to at least prevent that throw from happening. So that's a really good throw by McCarthy to, you know, throw through that. And this obviously was an incredible catch and run after it. But still, you know, the safety acting late doesn't help either. Um, so this shouldn't have been an explosive play. You got to tackle him right there. Man, that is a massive, massive missed call in this game. And Washington fans, you physically got beat down in this game, right? You had your opportunity. So the fact that you, some of you want to just blame the refs, uh, that's a you thing, right? That's where you got to look at yourself in the mirror. But you do have a case that this call changed the outcome of the national championship picture for this season. So comment below. Do you feel Washington got robbed? My answer is kinda. It is. Power. Hour. SEC, baby. Boom. Love it. And I do think Georgia or healthy Florida State would have won the playoff this year. And uh, tonight we are doing, we're doing pork chops, baby. Let's. Freaking go, huh? Huh? Huh?